Welcome to Geographic Information Systems Essentials. In this video we'll talk about the Identify tool and we'll start adding basic labels to our map. The Identify tool is a really handy tool in ArcMap. It's found on your Tools toolbar and there's a little eye inside of a circle. Click on it and then click anywhere on the map and you'll see, see that it brings up a dialog box that has additional information about where you've clicked. If you have multiple layers, you can uh, select from a drop-down menu here of either visible, selectable, or all layers, or it'll have a list of the layers that are currently available here, just the one layer, and then it has information about where you've clicked. This is great for quickly and easily getting more information about a particular feature on your map. Now let's add some basic labels to our map. So here's our map of the five boroughs of New York. I'm going to do one thing real quick here, which is go to my layer and just rename it. So it came in as NYBB, which is how it was uh, downloaded from the website. Uh, now let's come up with a more user-friendly name for it. So I'm just going to type in New York boroughs as a way of uh, helping remind myself what that layer is. This is especially helpful when you have lots and lots of layers that you're working with. Now let's add some basic labels. So I'm going to my layers panel here in the table of content. I'm going to double click on the name, not the little shape there, but the name itself. And you can see I have my layer properties here. Uh, you might want to go ahead and click through them. You have your general tab, which has uh, the name and the description and credits. Uh, source, selection, display, symbology. These are all helpful, very helpful tabs that you'll be using uh, with your time here in GIS. What we want to do is go to the labels panel. I'm going to label all the features in the same way. And for my drop down here, drop down menu here, I'm going to select borough name. Then I can change the text symbology. I can change the font from any font I have installed. We'll just go with Arial for now. Maybe I'll make it bold. Try a large size here. And I can hit apply to see what that'll look like. And that might be a bit too big. Hit 16, apply, and that looks much better. Now you'll notice that I have multiple labels for queens here. That's because of my settings. Let's go back and check them out. So under label, you can see I have some different options here. I have placement properties and scale range. Let's go to placement properties. Under the placement tab, down here at the bottom, it says duplicate labels. I'm going to select place one label per feature to make sure that I only have one label of queens. And now my five boroughs are clearly labeled. So in summary, in this video, we introduced the Identify tool, which you can use to click on your map to bring up some additional uh, information about the layers that you've clicked on. And we talked about how to add labels to our maps in ArcMap. Thanks for watching.